I'm headed to one of my favorite cities in the world, Rome. When I go there, it's all about going off the beaten path to get the best, most authentic foods and to check out what's fun, new, and inventive. We're headed to some of my favorite under the radar sweet spots. And it's not just about how amazing the food is, it's all about the real hardworking people making it. First stop, just outside the city center in Rome's residential Aeor neighborhood, Chef Walter Musco has revamped the historic cafe Pasticceria Bompiani. On the surface, the shop retains much of its original atmosphere and classic appeal. But if you look a little closer, Bompiani is much more than brioche and cornettos. La differenza importante tra la nostra pasticceria e le tante pasticcerie che sono a Roma è sicuramente la scelta degli ingredienti, eh, le idee nuove e una, una buona tecnica che abbinata a grandi materie prime ci dà grandi risultati. Chef Walter Musco's team meticulously crafts every item that comes out of his kitchen. Whether it's sheeting, cutting, or forming homemade laminated dough into intricately shaped vinoiserie, or crafting elegant cakes and artisanal gelato from scratch, it was magic watching them create. I asked Chef Federico, who oversees Bompiani's gelato program, to tell us how visitors to Italy can tell the difference between true homemade gelato and the shops using pre-made bases. Nelle vaschette di gelato molto piene, che vediamo piene di eh, biscotti, di creme, di salse. Sono spesso gelati che hanno una base tutta uguale e cambia soltanto poi quello che si inserisce all'interno. Però se andiamo lì a vedere, poi assaggiando più di un gelato, sentirete che poi il sapore è tutto uguale. E non, non sono, solitamente non sono gelati di qualità. Vengono sistemati nelle vaschette in quel modo per per attirare, per dire wow, per avere un effetto wow, ma non, poi non, non è buono. It doesn't stop there. Some say pastry is truly a work of art. Each year during Easter, Musco and his chefs make 80 one-of-a-kind chocolate Easter eggs. The eggs can take anywhere from one to three days to assemble and are up for sale to the public. Quest'anno abbiamo scelto Kip Tering per la pop art, che è un uovo ispirato al, al cubismo a Picasso, Mark Rocco che ha fatto del colore la sua parte fondamentale la, la, de, nelle, nei suoi quadri. E abbiamo riproposto artisti che secondo noi valorizzavano il colore in modo molto importante. I'm sorry, but is that a Jeff Koons balloon dog egg? Next stop to Bella's Pasticceria, located in the heart of the city center near Campo di Fiori. Hi guys. Hello. How are you? Abbiamo in esposizione alcune cose classiche, tipo il, il profiterol, la sagher da passeggio, che è una sagher scomposta che uno può mangiare passeggiando. Oltre alla sagher da passeggio abbiamo fatto vedere anche la sagher, quella classica, quindi a torta. E poi sono per esempio delle monoporzioni che vanno molto, quella rosa, cioccolato bianco, vaniglia e lamponi, quella tutta ricoperta di glassa al cacao, che è una monoporzione al cioccolato fondente al 70%, e poi ovviamente il cannolo. Una che mi piace molto è il brownie con le noccioline salate e una mousse di caramello. If you turn up over the weekend like we did, you might get lucky enough to experience Chef's novel idea, the Milfolie Bar. Milfolie, or a thousand leaves, is an Italian dessert featuring layers of flaky pastry and cream. C'è la sempre la sfoglia caramellizzata disponibile. Se siete fortunati, ovviamente, potete scegliere fra una varietà di creme, tra cui crema al pistacchio, crema alla nocciola, al cioccolato fondente, al cioccolato al latte, una crema al caramello, una crema pasticcera anche classica o una chantilly, che si possono combinare anche tra di loro anche con altri elementi croccanti della frutta, in modo tale che uno crea il mille foglie personalizzato e ha un'esperienza, diciamo, unica. Uno sceglie il proprio gusto e monta il mille foglie. The one chef Andrea built for me was garnished with vanilla chantilly, fresh raspberries and candied rose petals. So 
In the city center, it's impossible to turn a corner without passing swarms of tourist traps. There are still plenty of hidden gems to discover. Debellus, a Roman native, took us to some unique spots that the average person might miss. Take Alberto Pica, for example. Just steps away from Largo, Argentina and Campo di Fiori, Pica is a small old-school gelateria focusing on classic flavors like pistachio, hazelnut, and vanilla. Usually in Italy, the cream taste is more pronounced and it's not soft as the American ice cream. This is made with a gelato machine and the texture is a little bit different. I really enjoy these classic flavors. Mm. If you can find a place that makes this kind of flavor, you go back to the, the child Your childhood. Age. Yes. Next up and right near Pica, take a stroll down a few narrow streets until you chance upon the old Jewish ghetto. This small, charming neighborhood's piazza is full of romantic restaurants featuring Roman Jewish specialties that have been cooked for centuries. While you're there, hit up La Dolce Roma. Open for 26 years, Chef Stefano specializes in American and Viennese cakes like apple strudel, doboschtort, an impossibly light yogurt cake made with quark and wild berries, and these little chocolate confections called Mozart balls. Fantastic. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. So what's in here? Um, there's marzipan, uh, pistachio marzipan around, um, and the, the, the heart is with uh, chocolate and janduia and hazelnut cream. Real hazelnut that mm. we process and we mix with, uh, with the good chocolate. Last but not least are Casa del Cremolato and Fata Morgana, both located in the northeastern part of Rome, just outside the city center. Casa del Cremolato features a unique frozen dessert you won't find anywhere else in Rome. With flavors like almond, glazed chestnut, strawberry, raspberry, and blackberry, Chef Mario chooses seasonal fruit at its peak and turns it into a creamy frozen dessert unlike anything you've ever had. Using an old Sicilian family recipe and equipment over 60 years old to make the cremolato and whipped cream, Mario has no interest in franchising, only turning cases of watermelon, peaches, and even figs into this unforgettable treat. Nearby is Fata Morgana. With over 60 artisanal gelato flavors like chocolate rosemary, citrus ricotta, fennel honey licorice, lemon curd, and pear gorgonzola, it's impossible not to start a tasting spoon collection here. Originally from Puglia, chef and founder Maria Agnese Spagnolo has some of the most inventive flavors of any gelato spot in Rome and of any ice cream shop I've actually ever seen in my life. This is my short list. Stay tuned for more adventures. Until next time, ciao!